Thank you. <coughs> well, uh, good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'd like to thank the chairman for the introduction. I'd like just to complete it uh, by the information that my poster is based on the joint work with uh, Pierre Biclo and Pavel Stevicek. At the very beginning, I'd like to f uh, thank the organizers for the possibility uh, <coughs> to participate in this uh, nice and inter interesting conference, as well as for some financial support. Now, let's turn to the topic itself. Well, we deal with the hydrogen-like atom constraint in the plane uh, parallel slab and we investigate the spe ener energy spectrum of such atom as the width of the slab tends to zero. Uh, it turns out that uh, this uh, Hamiltonian may, may be well approximated by a two-dimensional Hamiltonian, which we call the effective Hamiltonian, which approximates the original exact Hamiltonian in some way, but this effective Hamilton is still barely solvable. Nevertheless, Finally, we proved that the norm resolvent limit of the uh, effective Hamiltonian as the width of the slab tends to zero is nothing but the Hamiltonian of the two-dimensional hydrogen atom plus the energy of the lowest transversal mode that uh, naturally depends on A. Uh, consequently, we may use the explicit knowledge of the eigenvalues of the two-dimensional hydrogen atom to approximate the eigenvalues of the exact one of the original problem. So the main result is uh, just uh, what one would say, what, what just uh, one expect. Nevertheless, to uh, prove, uh, prove it in a rigorous mathematical way uh, uh, is not simple at all. But uh, still, Besides being a challenging mathematical problem, there may be some applications since the two-dimensional hydrogen atom was recently studied in various non-trivial modifications. Nevertheless, the notion itself seems to us to be a kind of mathematical construction, and our model just proposed may be viewed as a, some approximation that, uh, and a possible realization of such atom. Moreover, uh, and it's... Uh, interesting mainly from the mathematical point of view that uh, it seems that the methods and proofs that work for the hydrogen atom are applicable for the atoms with more than one electron too. So if you are interested in the topic, don't miss the poster number 33 and that's all. Thank you.